Kia ora. Welcome to Holy Trinity Cathedral in Auckland, here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. It's a great pleasure to welcome you uh, to the cathedral on this very hot summer's day. The land the cathedral is built on was purchased in 1843 by George Augustus Selwyn, the first Bishop of New Zealand, who later became Bishop of Lichfield. However, it wasn't until 1956 that the foundation stone was laid. The cathedral chancel behind me was completed in 1973. The nave was built in the 1990s. Some people have criticized the combination of the two styles, a neo-Gothic chancel and the modern nave. In fact, it's been very unkindly called the bastard child of Guildford Cathedral in a tent, but the two spaces do work well together. The previous organ was built in 1968 by a British firm and was very typical of instruments being built at that time. In 2014, we launched an appeal called Selwyn's Vision to complete the cathedral. As part of that was the provision of a new organ, and this has been carried out by Nicholson and Company of Malvern. This was an exciting project to be involved in, and drawing up the scheme in conjunction with Nicholson's, we came up with an organ of 92 speaking stops, 5,432 pipes. The organ is divided into three sections, on this side, we have the great, the west great, and the choir organ. And on that side, we have the pedal metal choruses and the swell and solo. Ra around the corner where the old organ stood is that space is now occupied by the majority of the pedal organ, which includes 432 foots. I'm sat at the console in the chancel, we use this console for choral even songs and services that take place at the east end of the cathedral. In the background can be seen the pedal organ case. The front wooden pipes are in fact dummies, but the case contains the 432 foots and all the rest of the pedal organ. We'll now head downstairs to the mobile console so we can hear some of the instrument. We're here by the mobile console in the nave. We use this console for playing for services in this part of the cathedral and also for recitals and concerts. And it is able to be moved to the centre of the cathedral for recitals. We'll start with the swell organ. First, the solitional and the voix silette. To which we can add the full length contra solitional. Two charming flutes. The voix humaine, which is based on a cavalier call. Stop. Swell to tears mixture and oboe. Same with replacing the tears mixture with a quint mixture. Full swell. On the grates we have a eight foot harmonic flute. Four foot flutes. On the grates, a very fine chorus up to sharp mixture. The great reeds. Right, we move to the choir room. Eight foot flute. Eight four foot flute. 
open diaphase in 84. 15th. With the mixture. And with the 16 foot board on the fly roll. We have a rather colourful chrome horn. And also a cymbal stern, which is called a twelve sonore. We now move to the solo organ. Firstly, eight foot concert flute with the undermaris. The concert flute by itself. Also, eight, four, and two flutes. We then have the luxury of a complete string chorus, 16, 8, 8, 4, and a cornet de violes. So we'll start off by hearing the strings without the cornet. With the cornet de violes. French horn. Orchestral trumpet. And the tuba. We can also play those against one another on the opposite sides, from one side of the building to the next. Also, a stop that's a, a bit of fun is, is the carry on. The pedal organ is the largest department on the cathedral organ with 26 stops. We start with the flutes. Open woods, 32, 16, and eight. The metal principal chorus. In addition, we also have mutations on the palette, 10 and 2 thirds, 6 and 2 fifths, 5 and a third, and 4 and 4 sevenths. Pedal, we have two sets of pedal reeds, an enclosed set, 32, 16 and 8 trombones, which are very useful for choral accompaniment. And a rather devastating set of bombards.